does your camera look like this? Constantly bracketed to the player and a bit jarring. Well, what if I told you it could look like this? Linear interpolated, so it's nice and smooth and pleasing to watch. Your camera can look nice and clean. Well, this is what this tutorial is going to show you how to do. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm using the Godot 2D platformer template, and uh, yeah, so what comes with this is this camera works with anything. It will work with 2D, uh, anything 2D as long as it has a camera and a position for the player, so, or any object you want it to follow, um, so in this case, it'll follow the player, um, but it will work with RPGs as long, because all it does is get the position. So, first things first, the camera here is mounted directly to the player so it's bracketed on it's literally just the position of the player so it's moving exactly how so it's very robotic and that depends on what you want I don't want this this tutorial showing you how not to get this so now what we want to do is I'm gonna delete this camera 2d and there you go now there's no camera in the scene the Player's still there but the camera isn't isn't mounted now we want to go to the game and then I'm going to add a camera 2D node. So, camera 2D. Then, my script calls for me to rename this. Or it doesn't, but I prefer to. And other things in, that come with it call this. Then, I want to set the camera to current. 0 0.5. Oops. And 0 0.5 for the zoom. And then there we go. Now the camera looks the same, except it's in a different position. Now what we want to do is I'm gonna add my script which will be in a paste bin link in the description so here you go and here's the first thing here's our script so first it gives us a way to edit the path of the node that we want to follow or set the camera's target as in the inspector then we have target node this will be used later then we have our lerp speed this is the weight or how tight knit it is to the target the camera will be then on ready, we set the target node to the node that the path is referencing. Then every frame here, we set the position of the camera to a linear interpolation of the first position or our current position to the target's position at the weight or our lerp speed. And that's really it. Um, so if we go and save this now, and now I'm going to hit the camera and I'm going to assign the player as our target, save it and run it and that's it it's linear interpolated it's smooth it even the parallax background works because it just gets the exposition and that's really it that's all we can uh, we can do that now so it's that simple the linear interpolated camera now follows the player and with the lerp speed variable uh, exported we can change how close it is to the player making it draggier or if we want we can make it closer you can go so close in fact that it's essentially the original camera just slightly smoothened so you can set the style of how you want it as well based on the lerp speed so yeah that's it um there'll be a paste bin, bin link in the description so if you would like that you can uh copy paste it and uh yeah anyway guys have a good night see ya